The following is a special presentation of ESPN on ABC. Texas is a big racetrack. They run fast in Texas. You got one or two cars that get their self hooked up and they sort of run away with the field. You never know. You go down there sometimes and you got the right setup, you do it next time and you can be there for a week and never hit it. The quest for a history-making championship by Jimmy Johnson and the effort of Carl Edwards to make that title his own comes to the Lone Star State and the lightning-fast Texas Motor Speedway. It's a big place for a big race and a big crowd. Some 150,000 expected. They've turned out on a beautiful warm afternoon to see which of 43 drivers will have that six-shooter celebration in victory lane and whether it'll be trick or treat for the championship chasers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dickey's American Worker of the Year, Hale Hughes, as he delivers the most famous words in motorsports. All right, Texas! On behalf of Dickey's, gentlemen, start your engines! Drag them up. Fire it up. All right, bud. Fire it up. Fire it up. Crank it up. Crank it up. Fire it up. Okay, we've got time for this. Under beautiful sunny skies, we are just moments away from the start of today's Dickies 500 here at Texas Motor Speedway. Cars are rolling away. Let's listen in to Jimmy Johnson's crew chief, Chad Canals. Let's go have some fun today. It's going to be a great race for us. Remember, guys, it's a long one, 500 miles, so make sure you guys stay fresh, stay hydrated. It's going to get a little bit warm. Also, remember, we're going into the evening, so if you have to have lights on your helmet, anything like that, you guys take care of that. Let's take a look at our starting grid and for the first time in his illustrious career, the teammate for Chad Canals and Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon has won a pole at Texas Motor Speedway. Remember, this is the uh, only track, one of only two tracks where he has never won a race. While you watch to see where your favorite driver is starting, let's visit with our in-race reporter, the driver of the Amp Energy National Guard Chevrolet, which starts fifth today, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Junior, Dale Jarrett, ESPN, you have a copy? Yes, sir. Hey, Junior, not being in position to win the championship, are you guys now trying some different setups, or are you pretty much sticking with what's uh, been tried and true and worked for you in the past? Well, we're, we're always learning with this car. I mean, we don't really have a certain setup that, that we really, really like, and we've always used all year. We've tried a lot of different things. Some have worked, some work sometimes, and not other times. It seems like nothing really goes from one track to the next, and it's consistent, so you have to move around a lot in practice and uh, our setup seemed to be quite a bit different each week. All right, Dell. our second question comes from our ESPN mailbag, and your fan Mark in Houston, Texas, would like to know which turn at this track is the most difficult for you and why? The exit of turn two is the most difficult by far because the banking falls away from the, the banking uh, falls away before the exit of the corner, so you're actually still in the turn as you're losing banking, banking and the car gets either very tight or very loose. It's really unorthodox as far as an exit for a corner and the transition happening so quickly before the corner's done. Uh, it makes it very challenging. All right, Junior, thanks for talking with us today. Uh, have a great day. And he's going to talk with your crew chief, Tony Urey, Jr. Thank you. Hey, Tony, Jr., Andy Petrie in the booth. You got us? Yes, sir. Hey, Tony, uh, the last 25% of these races have been the biggest challenge for you guys. What are you going to do, or what are you doing to uh, to try to fix that and get a win? No, I mean that's just just it, Andy. We're trying to do we're trying to finish out on a good note, but at the same time we're trying to get ready for next year and trying some things. Uh, I mean, we, unfortunately, we don't know what the testing policy is going to be next year, so this is about the only time that we might be the last chance we get. So uh, we tried a couple setups yesterday in practice, and it seems like we were bouncing either loose in or tight in. So. Uh, Kind of throw the dice here a little bit. I think our teammate, uh, the 48 and the 5, are running fairly well. So we kind of bounce something in between there. So we'll see what happens. Okay, Tony. Good luck and thanks for talking to us. Hey, okay, boys. Thank you. 
Hello, everyone. I'm Jerry Punch, along with Dale Jarrett and Andy Petrie. Glad to have you with us here today at Texas. You know, Jimmy Johnson is sitting on a 183-point lead in the standings with just three races to go, which means, in essence, it is his championship to lose. However, guys, one mistake, one mechanical failure could totally change the complexion of this chase. Now, with that in mind, if you're crew chief Chad Canals or you're Jimmy Johnson, uh, how tempted are you to back it down and play it a little bit conservative? Well, for me, I'm tempted a lot to do that because when I was Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s crew chief, that's the way we did it. We would try to get as big a lead as we could, and then we'd try to protect that lead going down the stretch because the championship was the most important thing to us, and, and we didn't want to risk or take chances that would lose us points. Uh, that's just the way I like to do it, and that's I am very tempted to try to protect that lead. <laughs> yeah, I like that concept, Andy, and you're probably in the majority of most crew chiefs down there. Not Chad Knauss, though. He's going to go wide open. He wants to win races. He knows that's the way that they can ensure a victory or a championship for Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy's going to adhere to that strategy. He's going to go wide open and try to get as many points as he possibly can. Don't look for these guys to back off. Guys, seven drivers in today's uh, race, including three chasers, have won at least one race a year ago but have been shut out in 2008. Who among this list of guys here might just break through today? Well, I'm going to go right to the top. Jeff Gordon won his first pole here ever. I think that he might break through and get that first victory at Texas and the first victory in quite a while. I think it's going to be Matt Kenseth. He's the guy that I picked coming into this weekend, and I, this has been a great racetrack for this team and for Matt. I think he gets a win today. He's going to break that slump that he's had this year of, of staying out of victory lane. This one should be fun to watch. This broadcast is available in Spanish by activating your SAP button presented by ESPN Deportes.